Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and today we are doing some walk around video tours of some of our pre-loved bits of stock and this particular one is our 2016 on a 16 plate Swift Rio 320. Now Swift's Rio range, they were a special range brought out in 2015 uh, to as an alternative to a van conversion, I think you'd see how they were marketed. So they are narrow body, compact coach built. So if I come round to the front here, you can have a look down the side. The widest point of the coachwork body is exactly the same width as the widest point of the cab, minus the mirrors. So it's no wider than a van conversion. And this is about the same length as the longer Fiat-based van conversions as well. So you get all the parkability, usability and drivability of a van conversion. But because, if we have a look again down the side, because it is square you're gaining quite a lot of usable space so if this was a van conversion it would have curved in up there and you've lost quite a chunk of usable space and you also with the van conversions they're not as warm you will get more drafts due to the rear door the sliding door whereas coach belts are uh, fully sandwich insulated grade three fully winterized so these are a very live alternative to a van conversion and really nice spacious modern easy to drive little vans so let's have a look at the vital statistics of this particular one so she's a swift rio 320 so that's the n lounge model 2016 just a two berth with two seat belts Plenty of space, three and a half tonnes, so you can drive it on a normal car license. It's a Fiat Ducato 2.3 turbo diesel, 130 manual with a six speed gearbox, which really flies in, in these sort of lightweight, narrow vans. Only 4,000 miles from new, so she's in fantastic condition. Circa 6.4 metres, only 2.26 wide and 2.7 high, and she's priced at 38.95, which is very competitive for one of these. Now, this is a van that we've sold before and she's in great condition so looking at the driver's side uh, do excuse the lack of a wheel trim there we have borrowed that for another van it will be replaced before it goes out we've got a lovely big panoramic skylight above the roof there smart black high gloss grill which is the fiat style pack and also led headlamps as well and the black splitter down the front there she's a nice looking van coming around the driver's side we've got a centrally locked double locking habitation door uh, electric step security handle you can lock this out for helping you get aboard or lock it across the door or lock it back when you're uh, when you're open got double glazed tinted windows this one's got a Fiamma wind out canopy on it fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer and at the back there you can see you've only got a tiny little overhang which uh, means these do drive really really well now coming around to the back here is your USP so to speak of your Rio or another USP of it, you can see you've got a large back door, which is very cool. Above the large back door, we've got your twin mirror mounted uh, reversing camera cameras up there. One looks straight down, one looks further back. And if I open up the hatch, you can see here, hopefully without hitting my other van, I'll have to have a hold that door open. You can see you've opened up the whole back end. So if you drive off up the moors or to the beach or anything like that for the day, it's just lovely even on a campsite to be able to open up your whole back wall. And that also lets you, if you want to, um, load things in there. So you can treat it like a van conversion. You can put bikes, anything you like in the back there. There's tie down points. So it's still quite a practical space. You've even got an electric step back here for entry and exit through the back door. Uh, negatives of this, uh, you can't uh, put a bike rack on without adding a tow bar, which is quite expensive. Um, but you can always put your bikes inside if you're keen cyclist anyway, which is better and take them out when you get there. So closing the back door. We've got a little bit of cosmetic damage back here. We can just open that up there. We got a little spider crack there. Pay the window price and we'll do that. We've got an excellent body shop who can uh, can do that, but it is just cosmetic. Coming around the driver's side, we've got a flue for your Truma gas and electric hot water heater. Mains hook up, this one's got a 100 amp hour uh, solar panel on the roof uh, and a 100, uh, 100 watt solar panel, 100 amp hour leisure battery. Pet for cassette toilet, that comes on wheels with its own handle. Gas locker for two six kilo Calagas bottles, or we can fit refillables. Has actually had refillables before, which have been transferred onto another van um, that the person put exchange for. So the filler is there for refillable bottles if you wanted to add them. Fresh water fill up point for your 100 litre fresh water tank, and a two pin 12 volt power point there if you want to pump or suck water aboard using a submersible pump. 
So that's her from the outside. Let's jump on the inside. So I say, really, really good condition. Just that little mark on the back. She has got a full habitation service history, 2017, 2018, 2019. And we would, of course, give it a full engine service, full habitation service for 2020 and an MOT. So coming in the habitation door, which is at the front of the van, you've got twin swivel cab seats. Driver's seat isn't at the moment, but both of those will swivel around. And then you've got a table location here. So you can use the front as a dining or a sitting area if you want. So you do have twin seating capabilities. Into the cab, it's all normal Fiat Ducato, which is very, very good. So you've got aircon, cruise, speed limiter, heated wing mirrors, full cab, concertina blinds on the windscreen and on the side doors there uh, electric window central locking all the bits and bobs that you would like also these rather nifty reading lamps here which if you're sitting in the cab seats you can uh, you can use I also got this little desk area with a second TV point so if you want to put a TV up here and one in the back then you can do which is very neat and then your lovely panoramic front skylight and that opens as well which is really nice you get a good bit of airflow through there over the door we've got a simple control panel with gauges for your fresh water and wastewater your cabin levels and light switches and water pump light switch you've also got on this one frost protect this has got the winter pack which is heated water tanks so if it's going to be sub-zero just flip a switch that will stop your water from freezing up control for your gas and electric truma digitally controlled heating and hot water system We've got a fly screen door, bin on that. Extra flip up worktop for your kitchen, which we'll come to now. So we've got a three piece oven hob grill, dual fuel hob, three gas, one electric. A high level microwave with two storage cupboards either side. Really nice Corian effect um, washing up bowl there. Light up splash back. You can't quite see that because of the light and shade, unfortunately, my poor camera phone. But we've got a light up splash back uh, around there. No curtains in these Rios, so they've got all blinds and fly screens and upholstered surround. You wouldn't really notice it, but it makes the van feel a lot more modern. You're not battling stupid curtains. We've got a three way fridge freezer with a full width freezer. Um, that's an automatic energy selecting one. And then at the back, very simple, very spacious, very effective. Two long sofas. These will make instant six foot, six foot plus single beds. One side's longer than the other, but even the shorter one I can lie on and I'm six foot dead with big side windows. High level storage cupboards above and another hecky roof light and the opening wind rear window as well as the opening rear tailgate. Underneath these two, you've got bits and bobs of storage. You've also got your boiler, things like that under there. Rear speakers on the back wall. These classy upholstered window surrounds and then the more expensive concertina style blinds and fly screens. Your TV would go on a bracket over there on the roof of this one. We've got the solar panel which has been added and you've got a, uh, a TV aerial as well. And we would replace the bracket that's just currently missing off of their previous owners. Swapped his bracket as well as his TV. But she's all in excellent condition in here in fairness to it. I couldn't fault the van at all. Um, she is excellent all the way around. We've got a little screw hole there. We could just cover that up with a, with a screw cover. Having a look in the bathroom now. It's just a wet room bathroom. Uh, which is effective in a narrow body van you're not really going to get a separate shower but how much time do you spend in the shower i personally would rather have a bigger wet room uh, than your shower hose if you want to use the shower just pulls out the tap there you can clip that into the up position big mirror and say so a real good bit of space in there and then to the front of there because they haven't tried to shore a separate shower in you've got a much wider space and you've got a big wardrobe so that's your front table then you've got a large freestanding table for the rear or that you can put outside. Table leg, your loose fit carpets in there as well. Your amplifier for your TV signal. That's your TV aerial, which is a digital TV aerial, goes through the roof. So that is she. So she's a 2016 Swift Rio 320 from Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch. Only 4,000 miles, she's in excellent condition, priced at 38,995. Negatives are the little spider crack on the back, the uh, missing wheel trim, of course, we will do. And we will provide it with a full MOT, engine service, cam belt change, 12 months warranty, and a full valet and a habitation service, of course, as well. So, any questions, contact us through the website, highbridgecaravans.co.uk, or give us a ring at Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch. Thank you very much. Goodbye.